welcome back i am pratap here today is a 20 september 2024 in this video i am going to generate different supply demand zone reports useful to the premium subscribers even before that please all of you please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action all the training lessons are available at our neo stock youtube channel so at our channel home page you click on the tab of post some of you might be seeing the tab community so whichever the tab you see click on the tab and then you get access to this post this post is having a youtube playlist link that is having all the training lessons you just click on the link now we are into the supply demand zone price action course playlist here you have all the training lessons are available you need to scroll down to the bottom of the page to access the first lesson here starting from lesson 1.1 all the training lessons are available in in order so please go through all these lessons one by one and strengthen your skills i have also provided the link to our telegram channel in this video description so from the video description please join at our telegram channel it will be helpful to you each time when we release a new youtube video or any other important updates we will be providing at our telegram channel now let's get into the report generation so i'm going to generate uh, stocks near de demand and supply zones for different time frames starting from half yearly time frame so for half yearly time frame let us find the stocks near half yearly demand zone one stock is filtered i'll be giving you only few seconds time to watch the report so you need to pause the video and once you study this stock you can further proceed in case if you doesn't understand how to study this report i request you complete our training lesson 21.1 that is part 1 of lesson 21 there i have explained each and every column in detail their values abbreviations even how we can draw the zones in the trading view by taking this leg in and leg out time stamps and base candle count okay the next report for half yearly time frame let us find the stocks near half yearly supply zone so one stock is filtered near to the half yearly supply zone the next time frame is quarterly let us find the stocks near quarterly demand zone so one stock is filtered next for quarterly time frame let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone so three stocks are filtered next time frame is monthly let us find the stocks near monthly demand zone four stocks are filtered next for monthly time frame let us find the stocks near monthly supply zone one stock is filtered next time frame is a weekly let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone five stocks are filtered next weekly time frame let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone five stocks are filtered next time frame is a daily so entry time frame daily let us find the stocks near daily demand zone six stocks are filtered let us identify high liquidity daily demand zones from this list and the first one uh, D, uh, gnfc is a high liquidity daily demand zone and then we have one more uh, tata communication is also high liquidity daily demand zone so we have identified two high liquidity daily demand zones from this list so next for daily time frame let us find the stocks near daily supply zone 13 stocks are filtered let us identify the high liquidity zones from this list nifty mid cap select uh, is a high liquidity supply zone and also it is listed in f and o list and next one is a uh, godrej's uh, consumer properties uh, this is a high liquidity supply zone and next one is a uh, hcl technologies having a high liquidity supply zone
and then we have SBI life is also having high liquidity supply zone. So total four high liquidity supply zones are identified. Four high liquidity supply zones from this list. Okay, the next time frame is uh, 125 minutes. So let us find the stocks near 125 minutes demand zone. Five stocks are filtered. Next, uh, for 125 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 125 minutes supply zone. 14 stocks are filtered. So next time frame is 75 minutes. Entry time frame is 75 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 75 minutes demand zone. Only one stock is filtered and this is a high liquidity zone, Kofods. So the only one stock filtered is a 75 minutes high liquidity demand zone. So next for 75 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 75 minutes supply zone. 14 stocks are filtered. Let's identify any high liquidity supply zones from this list. This is a PRS zone, so it's not a valid zone. ABB is not valid. Okay, next, uh, Burger Paint is uh, having a high liquidity 75 minute supply zone. And DLF is having a high liquidity 75 minute supply zone. And Indigo is pierced, so it's not a valid high liquidity zone. And RBL Bank is having a high liquidity 75 minute supply zone. So total how many stocks we identified? This is one, two, and a three. So it is having three valid high liquidity 75 minute supply zones. Okay, the next time frame is uh, 25 minutes. Uh, let us identify the stocks near 25 minutes demand zone. Three stocks are filtered. Next, for 25 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 25 minutes supply zone. 11 stocks are filtered. Next, uh, Time frame is 15 minutes. So let us find the stocks near 15 minutes demand zone. Seven stocks are filtered. Let's verify out of the seven how many are having ITF confluence. That is a 15 minutes and 75 minutes demand zone confluence. So I'm enabling the 15 minutes with 75 minutes demand zone confluence. Let's verify. Only one stock is a filtered, but it is a PRS zone. So not a valid zone. Okay, next for 15 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 15 minutes supply zone. Five stocks are filtered. So let's verify out of these five, how many are having confluence with ITF. That is 15 minutes supply zone with 75 minutes supply zone confluence. So I'm enabling the filter. Let's verify. Three stocks are filtered. All these three supply zones are having confluence with uh, 75 minutes supply zone. So the next time frame is five minutes. Let us find the stocks near five minutes demand zone. 14 stocks are filtered. Let's verify how many of these five minute zones are having confluence with uh, 15 minutes uh, time frame. The 15 minutes demand zone, five minutes and 15 minutes demand zone confluence. I'm enabling. Let's filter. Only three stocks are filtered, the demand zones. In that first demand zone is already peers, so it's not valid. So next uh, for five minutes uh, time frame, Let us find the stocks near five minute supply zone. 10 stocks are filtered. Now let us verify the five minute supply zone with 15 minute supply zone confluence. So in the supply zone confluence, I'm enabling five minute supply zone with 15 minute supply zone. Let's filter. 
six stocks are filtered and the first one is already pierced in invalid see if the pierced count is more than zero it is invalid zone okay this is about the stocks near demand and supply zones also we identified daily 75 minutes high liquidity zones so next let us generate a nifty and bank nifty supply demand zone chain let's start with nifty from monthly time frame i'm generating monthly supply demand zone chain for nifty always look into the zone column to identify the high liquidity zones and also look into the peers to column to check any of the zones are peers the peers zones are not valid and also look into the ltf trend that is the whichever the time frame you select that time frame trend and one time frame trend itf trend one more time frame uh, is a htf trend okay the next time frame is a weekly i'm generating weekly supply demand zone chain for nifty next time frame is a daily generating daily supply demand zone chain for nifty next time frame is a 125 minutes generating 125 minute supply demand zone chain for nifty next time frame is 75 minutes generating 75 minute supply demand zone chain for nifty next time frame is a 25 minutes generating 25 minute supply demand zone chain for nifty next time frame is a 15 minutes i'm generating 15 minute supply demand zone chain for nifty next time frame is 5 minutes generating 5 minute supply demand zone chain for nifty so this is about nifty supply demand zone chain next i will generate bank nifty supply demand zone chain starting from monthly so let me change the name nifty bank that is nothing but bank nifty so i am generating monthly supply demand zone chain for bank nifty next time frame is weekly i am generating weekly supply demand zone chain for bank nifty next time frame is a daily i am generating daily supply demand zone chain for bank nifty next time frame is 125 minutes generating 125 minute supply demand zone chain for bank nifty next time frame is 75 minutes generating 75 minute supply demand zone chain for bank nifty next time frame is 25 minutes generating 25 minute supply demand zone chain for bank nifty next time frame is 15 minutes i am generating 15 minute supply demand zone chain for bank nifty and finally the last time frame is 5 minutes generating 5 minute supply demand zone chain for bank nifty so this is end of bank nifty with this we have completed both nifty and bank nifty supply demand zone chain the next set of reports are bullish and bearish trade setups for monthly weekly daily and hourly income trades so let's start with monthly income trade bullish trade setup entry time frame daily entry zone demand zone in bullish or bearish trade setup at daily i am selecting bullish and 5 minutes demand zone sorry the daily demand zone the daily demand zone should not be peers <coughs> so in the peers account at a daily time frame i am selecting minimum value zero maximum value zero zone achievement is a violated opposing zone minimum order enhance score is 12 all the three filters are applied to daily demand zone 
So 16 stocks are filtered and all these 16 stocks are supporting bullish trade setup for monthly income trade. Now let us look for high probability trade setups further. Let us increase the probability by looking for ITF confluence. Out of these 16, how many are having ITF confluence? That means uh, the daily entry time frame, daily demand zone should be part of the weekly demand zone. That is what demand zone confluence. So in the demand zone confluence, I'm looking for uh, daily demand zone with weekly demand zone confluence. I enable the filter. Now let's verify. Now the list is come down to 12. In all these 12 stocks, it is supporting bullish trade setup for monthly income trade and also they are all supporting a daily zone confluence with weekly zone. And the weekly trend is uptrend, ITF trend is always uptrend. Because the trend is uptrend, if the weekly zone, why weekly zone? Because the daily zone is part of the weekly zone. And the weekly zone is having weekly EMA confluence, it is even more high probability trade setup. So I'm going back in the EMA confluence, I'm adding the filter, weekly demand zone with weekly EMA confluence, this is the one. And also remember daily zone is part of the weekly zone. And the weekly trend is up. So we are looking for EMA confluence also. So nine stocks are filtered. And today we got a trade in TCS. Already TCS by end of the day, today, after get, getting an entry, type 2 proximal entry, it gave uh, around 12,000 ru uh, rupees profit during the intraday today. I have explained in the HLQ analysis video. And moreover, the zone is a high liquidity zone. So it also supported, today it also supported uh, HLQ strategy also, intraday strategy HLQ. Take trade at 5 minutes and we book the profit at uh, a 15 minute zone. And also remember today I have explained a new concept. So that is a 5 minute zone, uh, what to say aggressive trade setup. With the bullish and bearish uh, trade related uh, setups, uh, how we can take 5 minutes aggressive trades. At type 2 proximal or at type 1 proximal, it is valid, the same concept. Okay, these are the high probability setups and Tata communication is near uh, demand zone. This stock is also filtered. Tata communication is also filtered today near the daily zones and high liquidity zones. This is a high liquidity zone. So you can use tomorrow trades for high liquidity zone and also it is supporting. Okay, next uh, let us look for uh, LTF, ITF, HTF uh, demand zone confluence. First I need to remove this EMA filter. So in the demand zone confluence already daily with weekly is enabled. Now enabling daily demand zone with monthly demand zone confluence. And also weekly demand zone with monthly demand zone confluence enabled with all the three filters. Let's verify. Only one stock, GNFC. And also it is near the demand zone. And EMA confluence, I think yesterday we have EMA monthly EMA confluence. Why monthly EMA confluence? Because the daily zone is part of weekly, daily and weekly together part of the monthly zone. And monthly zone is having monthly EMA confluence. Yesterday also we got this stock. But once again, we will confirm. So in the monthly EMA confluence, monthly demand zone with monthly EMA confluence filter I set. Let's verify the stock is filtered. That means the daily zone is part of weekly, both together daily and weekly together part of the monthly. And the monthly zone is having monthly EMA confluence. It's a high probability setup. And also we also identified a fine tuned 5 minute zone also inside GNFC. A fresh fine tuned 5 minute zones are available. I have explained in today's analysis video. Okay, this is about bullish trade setup for monthly income trade. Next, bearish trade setup for monthly income trade. Entry time frame is daily. Entry zone is supply zone. In bullish or bearish trade setup at daily time frame, I am selecting bearish. 
and this uh, 5 minute supply zone should not be pierced so in the pierced count at daily time frame i am setting minimum value 0 maximum value 0 zone achievement is violated opposing zone minimum odd enhance score should be 12 and all the three filters are applied to daily supply zone no stocks are available currently we don't have bearish trade setup monthly income trade stocks okay the next uh, bullish trade setup for daily uh, uh, weekly income trade for weekly income trade entry time frame is 75 minutes entry zone demand zone and in bullish or bearish trade setup at 75 minutes i am selecting bullish the 75 minutes demand zone should not be pierced so in the pierced account at 75 minutes time frame i am setting minimum value zero maximum value zero zone achievement is violated opposing zone minimum odd enhance score 12 all the three filters are applied to 75 minutes demand zone now let's filter so we got a good number of stocks i think over 20 stocks are filtered these are all the first 19 stocks let me scroll the list down so total 21 stocks are filtered okay now let's verify how many of these stocks are having itf confluence itf is a daily ltf is 75 so 75 minute zone should be part of the daily zone so in the demand zone confluence the 75 minutes demand zone with daily demand zone confluence i enable the filter itf time frame is daily now let's verify so out of 21 13 stocks are filtered in all these 13 stocks daily zones are part of the sorry 75 minute zones are part of the daily zone and daily trend is uptrend and if these any of these daily zones are having daily ema confluence it is even more high probability setup so let's uh, add that filter in the ema confluence daily time frame i am enabling the filter daily demand zone with daily ema confluence let's verify so 10 stocks are filtered all these 10 stocks are currently supporting high probability setup a bullish trade setup okay so the next we will uh, look for ltf itf htf confluence that means uh, uh, 75 minute zone should be part of daily both 75 and daily together part of the weekly zone so for that in the first we need to remove the ema filter i removed it in the demand zone confluence we need to add two more additional filters already we added one daily demand zone with weekly now i am adding daily demand zone with monthly demand zone confluence and also i am adding weekly demand zone with uh, sorry with weekly demand zone with monthly demand zone confluence so all the three filters are enabled now let's verify ltf itf htf confluence two stocks are filtered so i'm not looking for uh, weekly ema confluence the reason is uh, weekly trend is sideways for both the stocks so it, uh, looking for ema confluence does not give any additional advantage in sideways market okay next let us look for bearish trade setup for monthly weekly income trade for bearish trade setup for weekly income trade entry time frame is 75 minutes entry zone supply zone in bullish or bearish trade setup at 75 minutes i am selecting bearish the 75 minute supply zone should not be pierced so in the pierced count at 75 minutes time frame i am setting minimum value zero maximum value zero zone achievement is violated opposing zone minimum odd enhance score is 12 all the three filters are applied to 75 minute supply zone now let's verify four stocks are filtered all these four stocks are currently supporting bearish trade setup for weekly income trade that is entry time frame 75 minute supply zone now let's verify out of these four how many are having itf confluence that means the 75 minutes entry zone should be part of the daily zone that is what a daily demand zone confluence for 75 minutes sorry supply zone confluence not demand zone confluence sorry for my mistake because it is a bearish trade setup 75 minute supply zone 
so the 75 minute supply zone should be part of the daily supply zone so in the supply zone confluence i am enabling the filter 75 minute supply zone with daily supply zone and let me filter three stocks out of four three stocks are already having itf confluence and itf trend is down for all the three stocks because it is bearish trade setup if any of these three stocks are having daily ema confluence supply zones are having daily ema confluence it's a high probability setup let's verify in the ema confluence daily time frame i am setting daily supply zone with daily ema confluence enable the filter so two stocks both these stocks are having even supply zones with ema confluence it's a high probability setup okay now ne next setup ltf itf htf confluence because earlier three stocks are filtered out of the three how many are having ltf itf htf confluence first we need to remove this ema filter i removed it in the supply zone confluence already we enabled one filter 75 minute supply zone with daily next filter 75 minute supply zone with weekly i enabled and also daily supply zone with weekly supply zone filter also i en enabled now let's filter the stocks three stocks are filtered all the three stocks are having ltf itf htf confluence but the problem is all the three stocks are having sideways trends so weekly ema confluence need not verify because it does not give any additional advantage so this is ltf itf htf confluence for bearish trade setup for weekly income trade so next income trade is a daily income trade for daily income trade entry time frame is 15 minutes for bullish trade setup entry zone is demand zone in bullish or bearish trade setup at 15 minutes time frame i am selecting bullish and the 15 minutes demand zone should not be pierced so in the pierced count at 15 minutes time frame minimum value i am setting zero maximum value zero and zone achievement violated opposing zone minimum order enhance score should be 12 if all the three conditions are up i mean all the three filters are applied to 15 minutes demand zone and if the conditions are met we got 16 stocks all these 16 stocks are currently supporting bullish trade setup for daily income trade entry time frame 15 minutes zone demand zone entry zone okay now let's look for high probability setups out of the 16 how many are having itf confluence that means 15 minute zone should be part of the 75 minute zone so i'm enabling the demand zone confluence filter in the demand zone confluence 15 minutes demand zone with 75 minutes demand zone i enable the filter let's verify so from the 16 stocks nine stocks are filtered all these nine stocks are supporting bullish trade setup for daily income trade that is entry time frame 15 minutes and also 15 minutes zone is part of the 75 minute zone that is zone confluence because the 75 minute trend is up trend if any of these 75 minute zone uh, 75 minute zones are having daily ema confluence it's a high probability setup let's verify in the ema confluence at 75 minutes time frame 75 minutes demand zone with daily ema confluence so four stocks all these four 75 minute zones are having daily ema confluence and uh, and also remember the entry time frame 15 minutes demand zones are part of the 75 minutes demand zone okay next let us look for ltf itf htf demand zone confluence first we need to remove this ema filter i removed it and in the demand zone confluence already we enabled 15 minutes demand zone with 75 is enabled next filter 15 minutes demand zone with daily demand zone and also 75 minutes demand zone with daily demand zone all the three filters that means 15 minutes demand zone is part of the 75 both 15 and 75 together part of the daily zone this is what ltf itf htf demand zone confluence four stocks are filtered in all these four stocks our uh, entry time frame 15 minutes zone so along with 75 together part of the daily zones and the daily trend of all the stocks are having uptrend if they are having daily ema confluence it is a high probability setup 
let's verify any ema confluence is available in the daily time frame daily demand zone with the daily ema confluence oh out of four three stocks are having a ema daily ema confluence it's a high probability setup and also jsw steel is a high liquidity zone listed in f and o and fresh zone okay this is about uh, bullish trade setup for uh, daily income trade next bearish trade setup for uh, daily income trade entry time frame is 15 minutes so entry zone is uh, supply zone in bullish or bearish trade setup at 15 minutes i am selecting bearish and then 15 minute supply zone should not be pierced so in the pierced count at 15 minutes time frame i am setting minimum value zero maximum value zero zone achievement violated opposing zone minimum odd enhance score is 12 and all the three filters are applied to 15 minute supply zone let's verify now 10 stocks are filtered all these 10 stocks are currently supporting bearish trade setup for daily income trade that is entry time frame 15 minutes and the entry zone is supply zone okay now let's look for high probability setup if these 15 minute zones are part of the 75 minute zone that is itf confluence then it's a high probability setup so to improve the probability let us filter the stocks because entry time frame is 15 minutes supply zone in the supply zone confluence 15 minute supply zone with the 75 minute supply zone confluence i enable the filter let's verify so nine stocks are filtered in all these nine stocks they have 15 minute zones are part of the 75 minute zone and the 75 minutes trend is a downtrend and if the 75 minute zone is supply zones are having a EMA confluence, daily EMA confluence, it's a high probability setup. So let's verify any stocks are available. So in the EMA confluence at 75 minutes, supply zone with the daily EMA confluence, 75 minutes supply zone with daily EMA confluence, let's verify. Two stocks are filtered. So these two stocks are having high probability setup. So the next filter is LTF, ITF, HTF confluence. The 15 minute zone should be part of the 75. 15 minutes and 75 together again part of the daily supply zone. That combination let's filter. First we need to remove this EMA filter. I removed it. So in the supply zone confluence, 15 minute supply zone with 75 minute supply zone confluence is already enabled. Now I am enabling 15 minute supply zone with daily supply zone confluence and also 75 minute supply zone with daily supply zone confluence with all the three filters we got six stocks in all these six stocks the 15 minute zone is part of the 75 minute zone again 15 and 75 together part of the daily supply zone in the daily supply zone one two three stocks are having downtrend if any of these stocks are having ema it is a even more high probability setup so let us verify in the ema confluence the daily supply zone with daily EMA confluence. Let's verify. Four stocks are filtered. Let's verify downtrend. Two stocks are having Nifty Public Sector Unit and the CUB, CUB, City Union Bank, both are having downtrend. They are high, having high probability setups. Sideways uh, uh, EMA confluence doesn't give any advantage. So you can, uh, we should not consider them as uh, even more high probability. Of course, LTF, ITF, HTF confluence is a high probability setup. In that again having a EMA confluence is even more high probability, especially in trending market, not in sideways market. Okay, this is about the bullish trade setup for, uh, sorry, bearish trade setup for daily income trade. Next, the bullish trade setup for hourly income trade, entry time frame is 5 minutes, entry zone is a demand zone and bullish or bearish trade setup at 5 minutes time frame, I am selecting bullish. The 5 minutes demand zone should not be pierced. So in the pierced count at 5 minutes time frame, I am setting minimum value 0, maximum value 0. Zone achievement is a violated opposing zone, minimum odd enhance score is 12. 
all the three filters are applied to five minutes demand zone let's verify nine stocks are filtered all these nine stocks are currently supporting bullish trade setup for hourly income trade but if these any of these stocks are having itf confluence it is even more high probability setup itf is 15 minutes time frame so five minutes demand zone confluence with 15 minutes demand zone confluence i want to enable the filter so this is the one i enable the filter five minutes demand zone with 15 minutes demand zone now let's verify five stocks are filtered in all these five stocks they are supporting bullish trade setup for hourly income trade and also the five minutes entry time frame zone is part of the intermediate time frame that is 15 minutes demand zone if any of these 15 minutes demand zones are having daily ema confluence it's a high probability setup let me verify mostly it's uh, not easy having 15 minutes with uh, daily ema confluence but sometimes we may get so in the ema confluence 15 minutes time frame 15 minutes demand zone with uh, daily ema confluence oh one stock is filtered excellent the demand zone is having EMA confluence okay this is about uh, ITF confluence next uh, ITF LTF and HTF confluence let's uh, verify first I'm removing this EMA filter removed it next all the three LTF ITF HTF confluence five minutes demand zone with 15 is already enabled next five minutes demand zone with 75 minutes demand zone I'm enabling and also 15 minutes demand zone with 75 minutes demand zone confluence also i'm enabling now let's verify so two stocks are filtered in both these stocks five minutes together with 15 minutes zone is part of the 75 minutes zone and mgl is having uptrend let us verify if this mgl is having ema confluence daily ema because htf is 75 minutes zone so 75 minutes demand zone is having EMA confluence we need to verify 75 minutes demand zone with daily EMA confluence oh good MGL is having a EMA confluence copal is also having but it is a sideways trend so it doesn't add any extra advantage and MGL is a high probability setup so this is about bullish trade setup for uh, hourly income trade next one is a uh, bearish trade setup for hourly income trade entry time frame 5 minutes entry zone supply zone in bullish or bearish trade setup at 5 minutes i am selecting bearish and 5 minutes supply zone should not be pierced so in the pierced account 5 minutes uh, a minimum value i am setting 0 maximum value 0 that means zone is not pierced and the zone achievement violated opposing zone minimum order enhances score is 12 all the three filters are applied to 5 minutes supply zone so five stocks are filtered these five stocks are currently supporting bearish trade setup for hourly income trade now let's verify out of these five how many are having a itf confluence we are improve, we are increasing the probability sorry this is a supply zone five minute supply zone so we should look for 5 minutes supply zone confluence with the 15 minutes supply zone confluence. So I'm enabling the 5 minutes supply zone with 15 minutes supply zone confluence. So all 5 stocks are part of the 15 minutes zone. 5 minutes zones are part of 15. So it's high probability setup. And 15 minutes trend is downtrend. If any of these 15 minutes supply zones are having a uh, EMA confluence it is even more high probability let's verify if anything is available in the EMA confluence 15 minutes time frame 15 minutes supply zone with daily EMA confluence oh three stocks are filtered in all the three stocks they are having confluence with the ITF time frame that is a 15 minutes time frame because 5 minute zone is part of the 15 minute zone you can see supply zone confluence So these are the high probability setup related stocks for short trades. Okay, next let us look for LTF, ITF, HTF confluence. That means 5 minute zone should be part of the 15 and both 5 minutes and 15 together again part of the 75 minute zone. 
first i need to remove this emf filter i removed it in the supply zone confluence already 5 minute supply and 15 minute supply is enabled next filter 5 minute supply zone with 75 minute supply zone confluence i enabled and also 15 minute supply zone with 75 minute supply zone also i am enabling with all the three filters let's verify two stocks are filtered and both these uh, stocks are having a bearish trade setup for hourly income trade and also 5 minute zones 15 minute zone together part of the 75 minute zone if the 75 minute trend is downtrend for the second one if it is having a daily ema confluence it is a high probability setup let's verify in the ema confluence 75 minute zone is having daily ema confluence the supply zone 75 minute supply zone having daily ema confluence i am verifying by setting the filter so very good even though both are filtered we focus only on the second one because uh, the 75 minute trend is downtrend sideways we never use ema confluence because it won't give any extra advantage okay this is about uh, bearish trade setup for hourly income trade with this we have completed all the four income trades and in the last report let us generate uh, stop buffers based on daily atr first 17 in this list are indices that includes all the sectorial indices remaining all are equity stocks but uh, we have filtered the stocks from f and o listed companies so i'm scrolling the list down whichever the stock you want to refer there you please pause the video okay i'm scrolling the list So this is the end of the report. Hope this information will be useful to you for your further study and analysis. Let's all meet again in our next video. Thank you.